What's going on YouTube? This is Slam Short, Captain Status Quo, and it has been a hot minute since I made a video for you guys. Uh, it's been a long time. I've been occupied with school, blah, blah, blah. So this is going to be just a quick vlog. It's going to have a gameplay. The gameplay is just me running around oddball with Enable, Snakebite, our coach, Firespin, and our good buddy, uh, Captain Bruising, also known as Cody, just running around. Uh, I ended up picking up a sword, just going a huge spree and not dying and just cutting people up. But basically, this video is just going to be about me talking about the uh, past uh, Dallas exhibition, uh, future uh, personal stuff, and uh, can, yep, the future basically. So real quick, see that Spartan underneath me right now that I'm pointing at? That's my Spartan. He's badass looking, dude. It almost looks like Iron Man. I haven't unlocked everything yet, but soon he will look like Iron Man. So let me start this gameplay so you guys aren't bored on me. Uh-oh. And here we go. This is me. So basically, guys, um, it's been a while since Dallas. Uh, quick recap of Dallas is it was an exhibition for all you guys who don't know. Uh, basically, we played at the event. It was a, an event where no one played Halo 4 besides four people, realistically, who were announced that played Halo 4, which was me, Strong Side, Alumni, and Nated. Uh, we worked on the Prima Strategy Guide, which I hope you guys all picked up. Uh, it's got very good tips in it uh, for social and just casual, competitive, all types of stuff that you guys would need. Um, so we played it. I uh, can't talk about what it was when we played it to what it is now, but it was a good experience. It was cool. So we just fast forward now to the event. At the event comes around, there's the big shenanigans of rumors of people playing the game and whatnot, but whatever. You can't do anything about that. So Status Quo ends up winning, I think it's first three rounds we go into full screen we play warriors we get two owed by them uh, they were one of the rumor teams but whatever who cares and uh we lose them 2-0 and honestly we might not have been able to do as good as we did at this event by placing third if it wasn't losing in that round because we got to go in that miracle losers bracket round where we just ran the losers bracket and got more and more practice with the game as a team and got more familiar with the maps and whatnot so maybe you know losing that round uh actually helped us in the long run. Um, we end up losing the tournament when we place Ambush. Uh, we were up in game one and we should have won. I made a bad, bad judgment call to charge bottom mid. But it was more of one of those games where, you know, it's like we're such beginners at beginners of the game that I don't know what kind of rush we should have done. Like uh, thinking about it now we could have all gone from the car. I think we were believe that uh, we are I think we were at red. We could have just jetpacked all over red to open ramp and just end up uh, jetpacking and kill the guy on open ramp, but didn't think about that because, you know, it's such an early experience in the map that just couldn't think about that. So, we ended up losing the ambush, but we beat some pretty good teams on the way up. We beat Instinct, we beat uh, Dersky Aces team, we beat BTH, so we, we beat some pretty big names on our way to get up to where we placed. Uh, future now is uh, we end up getting Close third. Again, Can't do anything about all the alleged people who play the game illegally early, so who cares? So now we move on to the future, which is AGL, which is January 25th to the 27th, I believe. Status Quo will be attending. So if you guys are out there are looking for scrims or whatnot, be sure to hit me up on Twitter. Uh, message me. We're looking for scrims. All the pro teams that are trying to play, we're going to just try to play and grind out and be prepared to. Uh, when uh, AGL since we lost MLG and you know every team at the top of the level is just hate losing so we're all competitors and we all just want to win so we're going to be playing hard to come out for Dallas. Uh, besides that, i um, been busy with school. The reason I'm coming out with this video is because school last class is tomorrow and then all my finals are next week so it's got free time. Um, also in my free time I've been playing a little bit Halo and uh, Honestly, I've been playing a little bit more of Call of Duty. Uh, reason being is because, just like Halo, uh, early in the ages of Halo, before I became the player that I am, um, you know, I played a lot because I wanted to be the best. And right now, I'm at the top of the game with my team, where you know we're in the top tier players. So it's basically like we could take breaks from Halo and come back and still be as good as we are. I mean, it takes maybe one or two days to get back to where we are like skill wise but our teamwork's still there and we still have an overall understanding of how to play so for call of duty the reason i've been playing more is because i want to see how far i could go um i'll probably attend one call of duty tournament not sure which one um i don't know who with most likely with a naval uh 
for sure at most. And uh, basically just see what we could do. Uh, one of the Optic came over and another uh, Call of Duty team came over. Uh, Farouk, a couple of players from Farouk. Uh, I think that's their team. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Came over, tried out the Halo 4 exhibition. So it's like, why not, dude? You know, let's have some Halo people get on COD, see what they could do at one tournament, and see how it goes. So I hope you all enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy the sword, you know, own, ponage, whatever you want to call it. And uh, be sure to look out. I'll be coming out with more videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.